there is power in saying that people's lives, freedoms, and futures matter, and that those declarations inspired people across the generations to collective action. Um, And they still have the power, that power to inspire justice-minded people to build a more just world today. And so I think there are some interconnected lessons that we can learn from our predecessors. And one, and this is something I think that teachers can take in mind, and one is that fighting for freedom and justice is best done collectively. And I think that that sort of fits the Zen project so well. Um, Teachers can fight and win by working with other educators, with librarians, with students and activists, primarily, I think, by accessing the historical records. So I think we have to understand what the laws say and we have to be strategic as we fight them. And so sometimes it means sort of considering, do the laws prohibit us from teaching historical records cataloged by the Library of Congress, by the National Archives, by state archives? These institutions, along with the Zenette Project, are our partners in the struggle. And so, you know, they provide records and lessons, I think, that let the students see the records for themselves. But I think we also fight these laws, um, these unjust laws, by reaching out to lawmakers, by running for office, and by direct action protests. 